So what's up guys? Uh, it's been kind of an interesting last week and a half, just getting ready for this and that. And uh, you know, school for me is starting up pretty soon, so uh, we had a little bit of irregularity with the videos a little bit last week. I only had one post last week, but we're going to get back on schedule. But uh, I wanted to have a quick discussion really about the recent news about the OpenAI, the Elon Musk company, a nonprofit company that had the AI bot that was able to defeat a professional Dota player and a professional Go player. Um, I'll put the article down below if you want to read specific details about this and that, but I wanted to kind of chime in for a minute mainly about my thoughts about a bot being able to beat professional players. Um, I think there's two things, actually two, two positives that I can think of off the top of my head right now. Number one would be that because it's a bot, we can learn from it. Or not because it's a bot, we can learn from it. Because it was able to beat professional players, it kind of gives us like an interesting type of insight into how to beat the best in the world and how to beat the best in the world or, or really how to be better in general. So I think we can learn from what it did because the professional player said that it did a lot of things that he just wasn't expecting it to do or it did a lot of things that were very unconventional. And it had a lot of, it was interesting because it had a lot of out of the box thinking. And I thought that was interesting because a lot of times we can be stuck in a very boxed format of thinking and it seems like the AI over the course of really only learning the game for about two weeks of just duplicating itself and playing thousands and thousands and thousands of games, they said it had like lifetime worth of experience uh, playing games, you know, playing matches against itself. I think that's an interesting, I mean, because we can't play, they probably play like 15 lifetime worth of Dota 2. I mean, so... You really just look at the data and study what it did and, and then add that to your own practice schedule to get better. And, and this and this stuff could be applied to CSGO players, to Overwatch players, to really any player of any professional game or eSport. So I do think that if you study what it's doing, we can devise new strategies and we really can become better as players. Now, I'm not a professional player. I like watching it. But I, I'm nowhere near that good. But I think it's interesting for them to have something that can kind of beat them and make, to push them to be better. That's the main positive thing I see about this. Um, the main I can't really think of like a traumatic negative thing so far, as much as um, I, I guess we'll be getting our butts kicked more viscerally by the AI. You know, in, in games coming out in the next several years. So I guess you say very hard mode will be pretty much just. just just devastation to your face mode. I mean, it's going to be terribly difficult. So I, I think that that might be, I guess, I mean, I guess challenge is always a good thing, but, you know, I guess the scary thing is you want to do like a whole Skynet argument. Uh, they are learning. They are getting smarter. They are getting faster. They're outthinking us. Uh, in China with the professional Go player, which is a, you know, a game that's, that's very, very, very old that I did not know until watching the video and reading the articles about it or reading the information I had on it was interesting because it's an extremely complex game. And it's it was interesting because it just beat him. I mean, and it's the same rules. I mean, it only had like, you know, a limited amount of time. Uh, that that wasn't, uh, that was not the uh, open AI for me like Musk. That was another, I think that was Google's AI that beat the Go player. Uh, Eli Musk company, their AI beat the professional Dota 2 player. But it remains to be seen, I mean, it's, you know, very interesting how smart AI have become, or are becoming, and how, and just how scary that is. And on a level, I mean, I guess it's good for professional players, good in terms of game development, devising more difficult, I mean, things that push human ability through being more difficult will always be something interesting and something I think that should always be pursued, but I think the Skynet situation is like they're learning. They'll be they'll be like ruling the world pretty soon. And, and I guess at this rate, you know, the next ten, fifteen years they probably will be. So you know be be nice to our to our new up and coming uh, machine overlords. But that's really all I have to say about it right now. Uh, if you guys have any comments or thoughts please leave them down in the description below. I'll put the articles to it if you haven't heard about this stuff. It happened recently, if you think about a week or a week ago. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and have a good one.